How is 23 for you? And then what are your thoughts for 24? Yeah. So 2023, I was down 55% on income, which I actually count as a win, <laughs> right? It's, it's not too bad. And almost all of my deals, no, all of my deals were under 100 units, right? So typically I do 12 to 15 deals per year, roughly half or 100 plus units. The other half are under 100 units. All of my deals were under 100 units in 2023, hence why the income was less. But that's because the larger deals, they did sit on pencil. Yeah. Even though smaller deals are affected the same way proportionally, if you think about most deals went down, I calculated between 16 and 20% in value to, from the height. On a $20 million deal, that's four or $5 million, okay? Yeah. On a $2 million deal, right? It's a hundred grand, 200 grand. And the guy who owns the $2 million deal, most of those have a longer hold time. So his yep. basis is lower. He ain't not selling over a hundred grand, right? So those more of those deals transacted. However, when the feds announced a little softer landing for 2024, and they were going to have some interest rate relief, my world took off about beginning to mid-December. I put eight deals under contract, again, all of them smaller, okay? Actually, all of those were under 50 units, eight deals under contract. It was just like, and it was in a 12-day span, bam, ba -ba -ba bam, 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 right? Good stuff. Four new listings, right? Which is awesome. Great. And I've got another possible two more that I got to call on today. Good size deals, 20 plus million dollar deals. So the action has really picked up. The number of BOVs, and this is all, I'm talking about like six weeks. The number yeah. of BOVs have really picked up. So I think 2024 will, in my opinion, I think there'll be 30% more number of transactions. I think the volume will probably be in the 20, 20% or tell less, because I still think there'll be more under 100 unit closings than over 100 unit closings. 